Welcome to Mars 2's 1990 here. Today I got a new game for PlayStation 5. Well, I already bought one of Well, I just bought it a few days ago. Uh, on Friday, yeah. See, I got my haircut. Yep, yeah, Friday I got my haircut. The game I got for PlayStation 5 is this. Puyo Puyo Tetris 2. I got this from GameStop for like 40 bucks though. However, the thing is open like that. See? It's not in the shrink wrap or something like that, you know, that you sell in games. Yep, so um, this is what I got. So it has um, some things here like, you know, the, how much storage it has, how many players, online support, etc. So, um, that's part of this. It takes about like 2 gigabytes. This game was given an E10 for his 10 up, just like from the first game, which was, well, this thing has miles of different games compared to the first game, which only had comic mischief and miles of different things. Uh, something like that. Yeah, but it's also an Ultra HD. So this is what it comes inside the package. Look. The disc, as well as the code for it. This is for this. The skills, yeah, they go for the skills. Yeah, like this. Yep. Also, if you own this game on PS4 and if you have a PlayStation 5, you can access a free upgrade to this version visually. Yeah. If you own either like the PS4 version, either physically or digitally, and you get a free digital upgrade to the next gen version. Now, this might not be an optional choice for um, you know, a publisher's decision, so it's not gonna work like for example, like, this game is 40 bucks, but I will show you the comparison of the price against the next gen version versus the current gen version. So, I'll let's show you the difference. Alright, so we're on here to the comparison of the PS4, of the, you know, like, a current gen game being released on both this and next gen. So we got a few examples, like, you know, some next gen titles are the same price as the current gen versions, like... So we got Puyo Puyo Tetris 2 for example, um, this is for, well, it's 40 bucks for both the PS4 and PS5, 40 bucks, but at Target it's 30 bucks because of a discount, so, we also got more titles that are, are like 60 bucks, we got, Crash Bandicoot 4, it's about time, is $60 on PS4. But on PS5, it's like, well, same price as the original version. Unfortunately, there's no showcase for a physical release. Then we also got other ones like... Sackboy Big Adventure is... Well... PS4, $60. PS5, $60 as well. Sorry, I couldn't find a PS4 copy there. Next up for the same price on um, both current and last gen, current and next gen. So Miles Morales is sixty dollars. Well, I meant fifty dollars. It's fifty dollars on PS5 and PS4. But then also comes um. Marvel's Avengers on PS4, um, well, it was originally $60. I don't know. But right now, the PS5 version is $60 as well for this game. But then, there's also comes to the part of the, you know, next-gen games costing more than the current-gen version. An example of this is... Is Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. The PS4 version is going for like 60 bucks while PS5 70 bucks. So sorry about this, this is a different location here, sorry about that. So like I was saying, it's going PS4 fit $60, PS5 $70. That's what games are for next gen. Yep, so and that's how to show you about the you know Previous titles being released on both current and next gen. Compare prices, similarities of prices or differences. So, 
that's about it. Now head on to some showcase of Puyo Puyo Tetris 2. So, um, this is gameplay for Puyo Puyo Tetris 2. If you have played the first game, then this is what to expect from the this one. As you can see, we got versus, skill battle, swap, challenge, big bang, fusion, and party. So, we're, we'll show you some verses and we'll get on showing you the characters. So, um, both the first one had. Well, usually from the roster, you see. The second game has all characters from the first game, though. They did add a few new ones as well. And through a later update, there were new characters. And those also new characters also includes Sonic. Sonic has both a regular and alternate voice. So, so um, here's how it works. Like, you know, for his regular voice, he goes... But for the alternate voice, that's his alternate voice. Now we're gonna show you against both the Puyo and Tetraminos. So we're gonna have to use two Sonics, for example. So um, we also did add some things. We got Sonic Puyos and Sonic Minos. This is not what they're expected like. So if one of you guys already know about Tetris or Puyo Puyo, this is how you expect it like. You see, so the Tetraminos, this, those are the Sonic Puyos, but right there, if you look closely, those are the Sonic Tetraminos. Yeah, so that's what being the Tetraminos is all about. Yep, so you see the color Tetraminos, guys? Those are the color Tetraminos for Puyo Puyo Tetris with Sonic. So as you see, guys, those are the Puyos and Tetraminos of Sonic. So that time to almost time to end the video. Overall, this is a game that it, this game is worth playing. Yes. It's available on PS4 and PS5, but you can also get this on Xbox One or Xbox Series X and Nintendo Switch. So, since the series was, you know, the property was owned by Sega, but they also had a Tetris on there, because it is both Tetris, you know. Well, actually, I did also remember, the fact to you guys, is that the Sega Genesis Mini, the, you know, the 2019 version, you know, the Tetris was actually on there. Well, it was an unreleased version of the, on the Sega Genesis. As you know that, right? There's an unreleased version of this game. There's, compared to its rival, Tetris had a rival which is, well, Puyo Puyo and also Columns. That's the rival of Tetris. So, um, so Puyo Puyo first released in Japan, but, however, they just, since it's really popular in Japan, they decided to release it everywhere, like, you know, Combining with Sonic as well, we also chose to add Sonic on here, but we uh, but this also kind of reminded me that Sonic actually did have a puzzle game, well, with a different character actually, with Dr. Robotic, with Lean Bean Machine, and Kirby also did these Puyos as well, but with Ghost Trap in Europe or Avalanche in North America. Yep. So if you already remember this all the gameplay, Puyo Puyo is where you have to match the color of these Puyos, and in Tetris you have to make a column line. That's how it works. Tetris columns, Puyo's match color. So that's how it works. Though you can also get this game, like, you know, Puyo Puyo was originally released exclusively in Genesis and Arcade, etc. Though later on, like, some of the later games, like Sun, was released on both the Sony PlayStation and Nintendo 64. The Nintendo 64 didn't have that many voiceovers, the Sony PlayStation version did. So might as well get this on, like, both this and the first game on both PS4 and Nintendo Switch. Yeah, if you're a Nintendo Switch user and if you only have one a Nintendo Switch, then this game is recommended for you. After all, like, Tetris was originally released on Nintendo consoles. 
compared to, you know, after then, uh, a few years, like a long time later on, it, Tetris really aren't released on the Sony PlayStation 4 as a PSVR game. You know, something like that. Yeah, so overall, this game is worth playing, and it's a buy it. Yep, so anyways, thanks for watching, please like and subscribe!